Good morning, everybody. Here it is. It is a Friday, and welcome back to Five Minutes with Phil. And believe it or not, today we are wrapping up Romans chapter 8, and we've got the last two verses in this chapter, and I want to read those to you today. I want to remind you today uh, just how supreme, how incredible God's love is, and let you know that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. Listen to this, Romans 8 verses 38 and 39 says, for I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all of creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Jesus, our Lord. Nothing. I I want you to catch that. There's absolutely nothing that can stop God from loving you. There's absolutely nothing that can keep Jesus from loving you. There's nothing that anyone can say or do that's going to change that love. There's nothing that you can do that can keep God from loving you. He loves you that much. Now, you might be saying, well, I don't feel very loved. Okay, stop that right there, okay? Because your feelings are not fact, and our feelings are not faith. Anytime that we go by our feelings, we need to fact check that with the Word of God. Okay, what does God's Word have to say? I feel this way, but what does God's Word say? Well, the Word says, the Bible says, that nothing's going to separate you from God's love at all. Nothing. I love this portion of scripture. John 15 verse 9 says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. I want you to uh, be challenged today to have just it, it, a radical love for God. Because he has a radical love for you. Um, We've mentioned this before, that when we were at our worst, while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. So, understand that the Lord loves you regardless of your past. The Lord loves you regardless of how you may have failed him recently. The Lord loves you regardless of how successful you are or how successful you are not. The Lord loves you just the way you are. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. And we say this in our church all the time. The Lord loves you just the way you are, but he loves you so much that he doesn't want to leave you that way. There's this process that Jesus has and it's all based out of his love for us that he constantly want us, wants us to become more and more like him. So today, if there's somebody in your life that has told you that they don't love you, if there's somebody in your life that has made you feel unloved, if there's a circumstance that's taken place that has made you feel very bad about yourself and your self-image, understand this, that there is one who loves you more than anyone or anything can possibly love you. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing anyone can do that can stop the love of God. God's love is the most consistent thing you will ever experience. There's nothing you can do that will cause God's love to go down, or cause God's love to go up, his love remains the same. And that's pretty cool because that means I don't have to perform and perform well in order for God to love me. I want you to walk in that this weekend. Know that no matter what, no matter what, nothing can separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again later.